Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Um, as you guys saw, this is going to be how does your person feel about you right now? Um, so let's go ahead and find out. Um, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today is July 13th, 2021, but this video is timeless. So whenever the title draws you in is when you're meant to find it. Um, okay guys, so I, so I look at that bottom of the deck, the lovers. Lovers is a, a choice in love, a decision in love. Um, what I was going to say was, um, we'll see if it comes back through, throughout the reading, um, is that today I took a walk this morning and, you know, I read energy and I translate energy and I channel energy. And um, everything this morning, you know, was telling me that through the, the overall energy of the collective is... Um, soulmates, deep soul bonds, twin flames, loves, whatever, divine masculines. Um, they've woken up to this connection, right? Collectively for everybody, they've woken up to this connection. And for you, Virgo, I feel like your person, um, for many of you, not all of you, this isn't going to be for every single one of you, but I feel like your person, um, they have some splaining to do. They have a little splaining to do here. And, um, I feel like they are really wanting to work something out with you um, and start some kind of new cycle with you here. Um, but we'll see what comes out. Um, but I have to say, Virgos, I, I kept hearing before the reading um, as I was pre-shuffling and everything was Mariah Carey's, um, I can't, you know, she says, and I can't sing, guys, but she's like, I can't live, I can't give anymore, okay? But she sings, um, I can't live if living is without you. And then she talks about, you know, I try to fight the feeling. Na -na. So it's like, but she, you know, and that's just the way the story goes. But she's talking about this whole, like, it's very twin flamey to me, um, the story in that song. Um, but it's like, this person has just got to this point, Virgo, to me that it feels like they just, they, it's like they gotta have you and they gotta, they gotta set the record straight. They gotta make something right. They gotta have some explaining to do, you know? Um, there's something with that. So I don't know, let's see, let's, let's, let's find out you guys. Um, and if this is so far connecting with you and you're vibing with this so far, go ahead and hit that like button for me, you guys. It really helps grow my channel. And I'm really trying to grow the channel. And I truly, truly appreciate it, you guys, from the bottom of my heart. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new content. Um, and I just thank you guys for all your support. I, I really appreciate it. So, all right, Virgos, let's see how your person's feeling. Here we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay. For Virgo, how's your person feel? Yeah, look, you are heavy on their mind, Virgo. This person is feeling weighed down, heavy burden. I'm hearing carrying a heavy load. So this person may have a lot of responsibilities just in their daily life in general, but look at this. You have two back-to-back -back cards of completion, a 10 and then the world. This person in the recent past, Virgo, they've been going through some really heavy stuff. For many of you, your person's been going through it. They've closed out a lot of major life cycles. For some of you guys, this person has had you, they've had you running in circles, Virgo. Yeah, look, look at that. The universe was just like, preach, preach, Erica, preach. Yeah, this person's been going, they've had you going through some circles and they weren't speaking their truth to you. But this person here with the world card, um, the truth that, you know how I said that in the beginning that they have some splaining to do? For a lot of you guys, this person, um, this is a heavy burden. They have some major truths to open up about, okay? About third party, about what what their problem has been in the, in the recent past or in the past. But you've gone through, you've known this person for a minute for many of you. Like, you guys have known each other for several years. I just heard several months. I think that many of you have um, kind of been, uh, 
kind of just like the attitude with this person. Like if it happens, it happens. If they come, if they come in, they come in. It's kind of like that. That's how I'm feeling, you guys. You guys relieved yourself of this burden, Virgo. You guys are just, for many of you, you're like, I, if they come, they come. That's seriously what I keep hearing, you guys. Um, But this person, you're weighing heavy on their mind. This connection is weighing heavy on their mind. I mean, it's, you know, for me, the wands is passion. It's desire, right? And it's like, it's passion of the mind, passion of the heart, passion of the soul. And this person, it's weighing heavy in all those departments for this person. This connection is out of this world for this person. Um, this person is taking charge of the situation. That's what their plan is. That's what I'm hearing. And that they're, they're, they're going to communicate and set the record straight. I keep hearing set, set the record straight. Okay. Um, so I feel like something substantial is coming. Um, and the truth, you know, you have the ace of swords and the world right next to each other. So there's going to be this for many of you, your person is still going through a lot of like, um, healing and things of that nature. They're, they're just about there about, you know, finalizing the last little bits of their healing process or whatever they had to go through dark night of the soul, or, you know, they just had to go, go within and figure out what they needed and wanted and who they truly wanted that kind of a thing. Um, but they're like right at the end, the tail end of that, you know, for many of you, um, for, that's for, you know, many of you, but for a lot of you guys, this person, they've completed this cycle. Um, and there's a cycle here of that's going to be completed between the two of you. When this person comes in and speaks their, their truth. I mean, the Ace of Swords is speaking truth. It's communication. It's also a victory. This person wants to win. They don't want to lose you. So guys, that was my dog. <laughs> that was a rude baby. Um, he's an old little guy. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm, I'm just trying to see if anything else came out, Virgo, because I get channeled messages. Like, I, I don't want to start talking. And then, yeah, look, see, for many of you in the past, this person kind of shot themselves in the foot with you. I feel like they keep doing that, you know, but this is what I'm hearing. I got to make it right. I want to make things right. Okay. Um, this person, you know, this is a card of false victory, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But um, this person, I feel like for many of you, they, they really hurt you, Virgo. They really disappointed you in how they... Um, portrayed themselves and then acted. Okay. That's, that's going to hit for some of you. Um, they kept you on this like kind of string along type deal where they were in and out kind of, you know, like waves in the ocean. They came in and then they'd roll back out. They come in, roll back out, kind of came in and love bond you and then maybe disappear. But, um, they regret their actions. They are feeling ashamed of themselves. Okay. About how they, about how they acted. All right, what else for Virgo? How does Virgo's person feel towards Virgo specifically, please? Yeah, look, they want to speak their truth. They're char I mean, they're, this person is ready. To, they're charging in. They're ready to lay these wands down. It's the end of a cycle. They're ready to come in and speak their truth. How does Virgo's person feel about Virgo? Sorry, guys, someone just rang the doorbell downstairs, so you might hear the dogs bark. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. I think this person was a little too focused on their themselves in the past. I think that was part of the, the problem here for a lot of you. But this person, they've, like I said, they've closed out some, they've learned some major lessons here. Let's say that. Because this is the universe coming in. And the universe is saying, this divine truth is coming in. This person is going to speak this truth, okay? That's the energy I'm feeling from this anyways, okay? And this person is working on it, okay? I feel, honestly, I feel like it's the universe is driving this. I feel like the universe is driving this. Okay. Um, so let's see what else comes out. What is the overall action, the overall energy? See, I can't even talk to you. What is the overall energy around this connection, please, between Virgo and their person? Yeah, look, see, they're setting their intention. They're manifesting this, this union with you, this, uh, this communication. They're manifesting this communication. I just heard it's a big deal. So for many of you, what they're going to say is a very big deal. It's going to change a lot of things. It's going to close a cycle for you guys, and it's going to open a cycle, right? Endings bring beginnings, that whole thing. I just heard waiting for the right time. So clarify the two of wands, please. Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Clarify the two of wands, the emperor. This is divine masculine. Okay. Um, remember what I said in the beginning about the divine masculine? 
Okay. They're like waking up, they're coming in and it's like, um, it's funny you guys, because before I did this reading, I was out in the backyard and cop cars came down the street and they had their sirens on. And we live like on a very, like on a residential neighborhood, right? Like in farmland. And so it was super random. And, um, the first thought that my intuition said was, um, the siren. And then it made me think of the story of the siren, the mermaid, right? And sirens, they lured with the song of their voice, you know? Um, like in the little mermaid, she was like, Oh, you know, the whole thing. Well, that's the siren. What the sirens did was they, their, their song was so beautiful. It, it hypnotized, it lured, it put a spell in a sense on any sailor, um, or man in the ocean, on the ocean water. Right. And they, they would forget what they were doing and they would forget that they were steering a ship and they would, you know, and the, they would, whatever, but it ended up being like a, a myth to sailors, you know, about the siren and the song of the siren and all that. Um, but I feel like for many of you guys, that was super relevant here. Like you're the siren and you are so beautiful and your energy is like the song of the siren. Okay. And see how he's looking at the world He's like almost mesmerized, like hypnotized to me, staring at this thing, that and looking off in the distance. It's like, that's his, he's tunnel visioned, right? Like, and that's what I feel like. I feel like you, your energy just drew this person in. Like they didn't have a fighting chance and this is weighing heavy on them. Um, but they had to get their shit together for a lot of you. This person had to go through some self healings, inner work, self discovery. They had to close some stuff off and on their end, energetically, physic, whatever it was, they, they had a lot of shit going on for many of you guys, you know, I'm um, sorry. I don't mean to cuss, but, um, again, guys, if this is connecting with you, please hit the like button. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But anyways, emperor, you guys, divine masculine he, the emperor is a man with a plan. He's been putting a lot of thought into his next move. Okay. He's ready. It's like, check me. Okay. He's ready to make, he's making a move. Emperor is making a move. And he's put a lot of thought into this because it's not just a move like in war or a battle plan. And that's what the emperor is used to, you know, very cut and dry, black and white. This whole thing is love. It's, it's, it's all, it's all the colors of the rainbow and it's all confusing and, and it's, it's exciting and, you know, and it's, it's totally knocked him for a loop is what I'm feeling. Okay. Um, but he's, he's coming in with a plan and he's taking action. Emperor takes action with this kind of energy, the Knight of Wands, Emperor, Divine Masculine, and then this guy right here with his Ace of Wands. By the way, you guys, look what's staring at me on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands. I, they're setting their intention to come in and get this passion in your beginning. I'm taking that out. Yep. And after that, after the Ace of Wands, by the way, you guys, this, it's, it's time. It's time and they know it's time. There's something about timing here. And that's another thing collectively with a lot of signs. There's like soulmates and, and, and lovers there there it's like time is of the essence there's some kind of like haste behind them coming in probably because for many of you it's been a minute that you guys have been going through this and like i said virgo a lot of you guys have just been like if it happens it happens whatever and you're just doing you you know which is beautiful but this person yeah see you're doing you you're hanging out with your friends you're going out you're going to the bar grabbing a drink having you know dinner at restaurants you're you're doing you and that's what's helping also draw this person in even faster, you know, because you're like getting more and more into alignment and what's making you happy. You know what I mean? It's crazy how all that stuff works. But anyways, you guys, they want a reunion with you. They want union here and they're manifesting the shit out of this. Okay. They know that you are like everything that they want or need. Um, I feel like this person for a lot of you guys was a little bit of a trickster in the past. Like this little bit, maybe for some of you, a little bit of like a player energy. Okay. Um, that could have to do with that third party energy that I was picking up on. Look at this right after this, you have the justice card. This is Libra energy. Libra energy is harmonizing. It's balance. It's truth. It's, it's all of that. It's also a big decision. Okay. This is the Ace of Swords right there. You guys have the Ace of Swords twice now, once inside the justice card and right here. So there's going to be a lot of truth coming out. Okay. And there's going to be a lot of, um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication between you guys. Okay. Um, you guys might live for, this is coming through right now for some of you, you guys might live at a physical distance from this person. Okay. Because if we have the world card here, you might actually live like in different continents, countries, um, 
you could live in different states, you know. Um, but this person here, yeah, they were a little, for some of you, they were a little self-serving in the past. They were a little self-serving in the past, but that was one of the lessons that they had to learn. That was one of the universal lessons that they had to learn. They've learned lessons. This is your good karma. They've learned with the world card and the justice card here, but this person is ready to come in and take a risk here. They want to, they want to make a bold move. I feel like, you know, um, yeah, it's going to have to be a bold move. Cause yeah, like I said, for a lot of you, they're afraid that too much time has passed and they possibly have lost you Virgo, but because of that, they're flying in. You have the Knight of Wands, I mean the Knight of Swords, which is incredibly like super fast energy. And also PS, the Knight of uh, Swords is a very direct message. When he comes in, he's put a lot of thought into what he's going to say and it's going to be very direct, okay? Like he just, he already knows what he's going to say. It's not like, oh, um, once they get you on the phone, it's like, oh, you know, well, I wanted to talk because it's going to be like, hey, I've been thinking about it and this is what I want, you know? It's going to be like that, you guys. Um... This person, you know, with the emperor energy in this, I feel like for a lot of you, this individual was someone in the recent past that was like, I got to have it my way. They were kind of maybe controlling, maybe trying to control the situation too much, or I don't know, but there's something with that for some of you, but they're releasing control. Now they have focus and they've surrendered, you know, to this connection. Now they have, they have willpower on what they want with you. Okay. And they're coming in to get it with the chariot. I told you victory. They want to win. Um, and this is, you know, the emperor drives the chariot. So you have, um, a lot of, you know, you have cancerian energy, but Aries energy here with the emperor, um, who is ruled by Mars and Mars is the planet of destruction, right? This person is coming in to rock your world. Um, and there you are Virgo. That's who they're coming to get you. Because they see you doing your thing and like you're happy and confident and you're not even like worried about this person right now for most of you. Um, and for a lot of you guys, yeah, you are thinking about this person. You probably think of them just as much as they think of you, but you have in a sense kind of surrendered this over to the universe or to God or, you know, whatever. And you've been like, I believe whatever's meant for me will, will come, you know? And in the meantime, you're flourishing on your own. And this person sees that and they are just, it just made them like adore you and want you that much more. And they don't want to be away from you, Virgo. Um, so <laughs> hello, look at the chariot. He's stuck to my elbow. Coming in hot. Yeah, he is. Chariot's coming in hot, you guys. And then right after that, and when this person comes in, they speak a truth to you. Um, I'm hearing open communication. So, you know, there might be some open, honest conversation that needs to be had between the both of you when this person initiates it, because I feel like they have to be the one to initiate this with you, Virgo. It's going to make you very happy. This is all about revelation. It's, it's, it's revealing things, right? The moon is like hidden and the sun is the opposite. It's also divine masculine energy, Leo energy. Um, but you make this person extremely happy. Like you do. And I feel like this person makes you happy too. Even though like you, for some of you, you've kind of let it go and just like whatever. When this person comes in, it will make you very happy. Um, this is joy. It's bliss. It's fulfillment. It's affection and warmth and it's, it's abundance. Um, clarity. It's truth, you know, speaking truth. So, all right, guys, let's grab a couple romance angel cards for Virgo. Tell us about Virgo's person. Yeah, Virgo. I mean, gosh, you guys are looking good right now, Virgo. And this person knows it. They know it. Yeah. Look, getting to know each other. Uh-huh. This person wants to come in and really get to know you, Virgo. I mean, I'm hearing get to know you over again. So some of you, this is like a big go around with this person. And it's like, I'm hearing last chance, last chance like that, you know, like last call, last call. It's like that for a lot of you. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And for the rest of you guys, this is just this person coming in and they want to open up and like really get to know you, spend time together, like real time together. Okay. Yeah. See, for many of you, there was a third party. There was a third party. Yeah. So you guys are probably like, uh, no, thank you. You know, and that person, that's how they, you know, five of swords, they cheated themselves out of this false victory. It's like, okay, is that what you want? Go have it then. And then they turned right back around and they were like, um, no, I don't want to lose Virgo. 
one more for Virgo, please. Thank you. Yeah, letting go of control issues. It's everything I just said about the emperor, about the chariot. This person could have been controlling in the past about the situation, about certain things. Okay. And they're releasing it. They're surrendering. It's everything I just talked about, you guys. The universe is just confirming what I said. Um, yeah, and very soon. See, this person is manifesting this um, this reunion with you. They're manifesting it like as, as much as fast as they can. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. <laughs> right now. That's what I just heard. Um, yeah, because it's been a minute for a lot of you. They're like terrified that too much time has passed. And this is coming out a lot in readings right now. People are waking up. See, they're waking up collectively. And they're like, oh shit, you know. Oh shit, you know. And now they're like in this mode of scrambling. All right, let's get. Whew. For Virgo. How does Virgo's person feel for Virgo? Ooh. You got the moose. Oh yeah. They've got big, big emotion. Imposing, powerful, independent, time alone, attitude. See, they want to spend time alone with you. Attitude is everything. Yeah, they're going to come in all calm, cool, and collected. They're trying to like restrict, you know, temper themselves. They're trying to temper their emotion, temper themselves. Um, but they feel confident about this, you know, even though they're scared, they, they're, they're going to come in with some confidence, you know, but they're going to act cool about it resources, finances, investments, prosperous. Your person could be like in investments. You guys could like, I don't know. You guys could have met through work and work in investments um, or some kind of like financial thing. This person might have a lot of money, but this is expansion. The fish, it's luck. It says multiply large quantity, lavish bodies of water. Bodies of water is all about deep emotion. That's funny. We got the fish and I was just talking about the mermaid, the siren. See? Everything is always for a reason, you guys. There's expansion coming to this. They're hoping for a prosperous beginning. It's card number 34, which breaks down to seven, which is luck. All right, one more for Virgo, please. How does Virgo's person feel? Yeah, timing, perfect timing, origins. You got the clock. Longevity, unstoppable, stand the test of time, past, present, future. You guys have been going this for through this for a long time. The timing wasn't meant before. The universe is kind of backing this now. The, the, there's something with this connection. I mean, there's something about the divine timing of this. This person's energy is unstoppable. They're coming in with this Knight of Swords energy. It's like, bam, like they know what they want. And they're going to come in and say it with the Chariot, Knight, I mean, the Emperor, the Knight of uh, Swords, communication, the letter. Writing, communication, fax, email, notes, records, making contact. They're going to make contact. That's what that is. That's this whole thing. They've been manifesting this reunion, making contact, speaking their truth. I mean, they're just hoping it's not too late. Because for a lot of you, this, this person deceived you. You know, maybe they were a little manipulative in the past breadcrumbed you just came in like I said and, and flew back out when you know when they wanted to inflate their ego they would come in and then when they got their ego inflated they would leave again but they've opened they've they've had an awakening here <laughs> they've had some enlightenment they've they get it they're getting it now okay so you guys I hope that this connected with you thank you so so much for supporting my channel um I am taking personal requests for readings at this time so if you guys are interested Below in the description box, you can email me. It's, uh, <laughs> I almost said my name, Erica, uh, gypsycowgirltarot at gmail.com. You guys can follow me on Instagram at gypsycowgirltarot. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye, Virgo.